Hi everyone, welcome back to another Wellness Wednesday. My name is Molly and I am the Wellness Supervisor here at Bertram Hills. So today I thought we would talk a little bit about why exercise helps us feel good, especially as the weather is getting nicer, the sun is out, it's getting warmer, right? We're gonna start feeling more inclined to going outside and being a little bit more active. So I thought, let's talk a little bit more about why exercise actually does make us feel good, right? So let's jump right into it. Exercise makes us feel good in a number of different ways, one of which can simply just be boosting confidence, right? And that confidence boost can come from a number of different factors. For some people, you know, exercise plays a part in helping us to regulate our weight, right? And so sometimes, well, most often, you know, losing weight makes us feel really confident, right? That confidence can also come from us just, you know, feeling stronger, feeling more in control of our bodies, being able to accomplish different things that we weren't able to before, whether it's you know, doing a certain number of push-ups or being able to run a mile or being able to perform certain tasks in different sports that you like, right? So that confidence can come from a number of different areas. Exercise also helps us not only to feel good in that respect, but it can actually help to make you feel more energized. And I know upon first hearing that, it can sound a little counterintuitive, right? Because normally we feel kind of tired after we exercise, but the more and more that we do it, we'll actually find that exercise gives us quite a bit of energy. So I thought we could talk a little bit more about the science behind that today. So here we go. The first thing we're going to talk about is how the more you exercise, the more mitochondria your body starts to produce. And if we think back to high school biology, it's like the one thing people will remember is mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, right? With that being said, correct, it is the powerhouse of the cell. And what it helps to do is to generate the majority of the, basically the chemical energy that our cells need to operate. And that comes in the form of ATP, right? Are we having flashbacks to high school biology? <laughs> so the more exercise we do, the more mitochondria our bodies are going to produce. The other thing that happens in addition is exercise stimulates our body to produce endorphins. And the three main endorphins that our body produces when we exercise are dopamine, norepinephrine, and serotonin. So I thought we'd talk a little bit about those. I've got my notes here, so, <laughs> so I don't miss anything important. So let's first talk about dopamine, right? So dopamine is produced in various regions of your brain, and it helps with a couple of different processes. One is it helps with your brain sending messages between cells throughout the body, and the other is it um, is associated with um, the sensation of pleasure. One of the things that, or one, I guess, area that we see um, a lot of dopamine activity is when we're doing something that we enjoy. So when, you, when you're doing an activity that gives you pleasure, your brain gives you that little dose of dopamine saying, yeah, I like this, I wanna keep going, right? <laughs> dopamine, um, like I said, also helps with um, message sending throughout the body. Um, so if you're familiar with the uh, condition Parkinson's, um, and that's often a, so one of the main um, identifying factors of Parkinson's that people recognize is the tremors. And one of the biggest things that happens with Parkinson's patients is that um, they aren't able to produce and use dopamine as effectively. So fun little fact for you there. Uh, norepinephrine, it's produced in our adrenal glands, and it is both a hormone and a neurotransmitter, so kind of duality there. It helps us with a number of different things like increasing our heart rate, and which increases our blood pressure. It's going to help us with breaking down fats, and it's going to also help increase your blood sugar levels to help give your body more energy. That being said, right, that's going to account for part of why we feel a little bit more energized when we exercise, right? So we've got that dopamine, we've got that norepinephrine, and the last is serotonin. So serotonin sends signals between our nerves and it helps with a lot of different things. The main ones are it helps with our mood, like stabilizing our mood. So helps with stabilizing our feelings of well-being and happiness, making us, again, like feel more emotionally stable. And it also helps us quite a bit with sleeping, eating, and digestion. So that's kind of a 
big heap of um, job responsibilities that that serotonin does. So when that serotonin is released when we're exercising, that's obviously going to help us with those feel good feelings, right? Which can help with confidence. And because of this, after we exercise, because we've had that serotonin release, we tend to find ourselves sleeping a little bit better, having a more restful night's sleep. We are hungry after we exercise, right? So it's wanting to put more of that good nutritious fuel into our body. And it's helping with digestion, so it's helping us to get the most out of that food that we're eating in the aftermath. So quick recap. Exercising produces those endorphins, dopamine, norepinephrine, and serotonin there. And we know that exercising also can help to increase the number of mitochondria that our body produces. Kind of short, sweet, and simple today, but who doesn't love a good science episode, right? So <laughs> I hope that some of this was informative and I hope that you're able to go out and take advantage of this beautiful weather coming our way as we jump into spring, get a little bit of that exercise in, get those endorphins pumping, and we will see you here next week for another Wellness Wednesday. Thank you.